welcome back to Circle Time with Miss Alexa. I'm so excited to see you again today. Today is art day and we have a new continent that we are introducing for the month of April and I cannot wait to share that with you. So let's get going. Ready? The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with bright shiny faces and I say to you, good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Alexa. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Good morning, my friends. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Hmm, what day is it today? If yesterday was Monday and tomorrow will be Wednesday, yes, that means it is t -t -t Tuesday. But what is the day? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. Are you selling Martes? El 7 de abril. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete, los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Sunny, 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 sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? S U N N Y is sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C L O U D Y, cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R A I N Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 windy. Is it windy in the sky? W I N D Y, windy. Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S N O W Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what is the weather like today in April? Oh. Today 
The sun is now out in Charleston, but it was a little bit wet and rainy this morning. So I think I'm going to sing about when it was a little bit rainy, but if the weather is different with you, you sing about what it was like with you. And maybe mommy and daddy can help you as well. Ready? I know a day just like today, rainy was the weather, R A. excited for art day today and our new continent and all of our projects there's so much stuff going on so first of all our art project is related to the new continent that we are studying so i would love to introduce you to our new continent our new continent today and for the rest of april is going to be the continent of africa ah, ah, africa just like our selector song of the week last week let's have a look Do you know which one is Africa? Hmm. Yes. On a Montessori map, Africa is green. Africa. Africa is a very big continent and is very famous for all of the wonderful animals that live there and come from there. And we are going to talk more about those tomorrow and for the rest of the week. But what we are going to talk about today something very special from Africa too. A traditional piece of art, I guess you could call it, that a lot of African people use and make. We are going to make our very own African mm -mm mask. Do you see that mm word? Mm -mm mask. Let me show you a mask that I got when I was very young from Africa. This is an authentic African and it's made out of, yes, wood. It's made out of wood. And when we bought it, my family and I bought it, the color that they put on is actually shoe polish. Shoe polish on wood. Now, not all African masks are made this way. This just happens to be the one that I've made because my uncle and my auntie and my cousin live in South Africa. Hello, mommy. And this, ma this mask I have had since I was 12 years old and I went to South Africa with my family to visit my auntie and uncle. And I cherished it. It even has a little part where I can hang it on the wall. So this one is more for display. Now the mask that we are going to make today is going to be our own traditional masks. Now just like, do you remember when we were talking about the Aboriginal paintings? And we said that every one of them was unique and every one of them had a story behind them. They had a meaning. Well, it's the same with African masks. So every African mask is unique. Every one is different. They are all made individually by each person. And they're all made for a reason. They have a story behind them. Now imagine, think about what you would wear for a really special occasion like, a birthday. What would you wear for your birthday? Would you get a really special dress, maybe with a tutu if you're a girl, with the number that you're going to be? I'm going to be four, I'm going to be six. Or if you're a boy, would you wear a tie and a suit jacket? Maybe you would wear a special hat. Well, a lot of people in Africa wear masks for very special occasions, such as weddings and for funerals. So it's like what they add to their costume when they go to a special occasion. So today we are going to make our own mask as if we're going to a special occasion. And it is my daughter's birthday. She is going to be three on Sunday, this week on Easter Sunday. So maybe I'm going to make one with her favorite colors and shapes. Would you like to see? So I have my tray set up for this. And you can use different things. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. I have a paper plate and I happen to have some wool, some yarn that I just randomly had in the house and I cut a few pieces. And inside my little pot, I um, I had different scraps of these colored bits of paper and I cut some into different shapes and sizes. 
Now, if you guys are old enough, you can cut your own shapes out. You don't need mommy and daddy to do it. But if you have a bit of a younger child and you know uh, they need a little bit of guidance and help, sometimes it's nice to have it set up for them. And I actually found a glue stick, but if you don't have a glue stick, you can use um, tape. Um, this is a paper plate that I had lying around the house for a long time. Today, I'm actually going to use a cereal box for my mask because I wanted to make one that was slightly bigger. So when you get your cereal box, your cardstock or your paper plate, whatever you have in the house, we need to function and use everything we have lying around the house right now. It's not easy for us to get to the store. So um, when you get it, you can draw a shape of what you would like your mask to look like, the shape of it. I drew quite a big so that she can dance. She loves to dance, so she can hold it and dance around. My daughter's name is Elizabeth. And I already drew some little eyes. I drew a mouth and I cut the eyes and the mouth out. The reason I already did that is because it's a little bit tricky and I didn't want it to take up too much time. So you might need a little bit of help with these. Um, I had to actually use a skewer to put a hole in. That's all I had because I could not find my hole punch, but a hole punch would work really well for this. And then if you are able to use a pair of scissors, you can cut out the outside line. Would you like to watch as I cut mine out? Now my scissors are a lot bigger than your scissors will be, but watch how I hold them. Ready? I'm gonna put sand in it so as I cut it out. I'm still here, don't worry. And then I'm going to take my shapes that I had in my cup and I'm going to stick them on. Now, I'm not going to stick all of my shapes on right now, but I will stick a few of them on just so you can see them. I'll take the lid off my glue stick. Be careful not to push your glue stick all the way up. My, uh, my daughter has a habit of doing that and then it falls off and it breaks. And because we're not able to go out and get some more at the moment, it's a little bit tricky. I put my glue on my shape. And I put stick on my shape. Hmm, pretty lovely. <gasps> what do you think? So I'm actually just going to put my glue on here. Remember, when you're doing this, you'll be working at a table so that you can keep your work flat, neat, and clean. I'm just doing it like this so you can. These are all the same shape. What shape did I cut these into? Yes, a rectangle. Wow, these are rectangles that I cut out. Rectangle hair. Maybe I'll put one more on. Oh, I can see how it's looking already. Hmm, what else have I got in here? Oh. I have some big, yes, big triangle shape. I just told you the shape. You're gonna remember what it is. Let's have a look. What shape is this? It has three, two, three sides, three sides. It's a triangle, three sides, and one, two, three vertices. I'm going to put my triangle on the side and my triangle on the other side. Now friends, I have lots of other shapes. Oops, I'm going to turn it around so it looks symmetrical. It looks the same on both sides. 
I have lots of other shapes I can put on, but I'm not going to put them all now. I'm going to finish mine later. And then the final one I will post on the Facebook group. So if you're not part of that yet, please become a part of it where you can see all my finalized works. But what I do have at the bottom is I have some yarn and I have a couple of holes and I'm actually going to have to use my scissors to help me with this. And I'm going to put my yarn through the hole if I can get it through. And I'm going to use my yarn to make a little bit of the bottom. What do you think? Oh, I'm so proud of the mask that I made and I think Elizabeth will love it. Do you like the mask I made? I love my mask. My African ma ma mask. My friends, I will post that finished version on the Facebook group. But before we go, let's sing our continent song. We are going to sing it without the music. Are you ready? The world is split up into continents, there are seven in all. And if you get the gist, we're going to make a list from biggest to small. There is Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Asia, Africa, North and South America. Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world lives here, but whatever. Nile, Africa, with desert for miles, and the Nile is my longest river. North America starts down in Panama, wide open spaces all the way to Canada. I'm South America with animals galore, where the rainforest grows, cause the rain really pours. I'm Antarctica and I'm totally ice. And I'm Europe, you're welcome for the pasta, pizza, waffles and fries. I am Australia, some call me Oceania. I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to you. We are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, Finally, Australia. Oh, you got it. I can see you've been practicing. Okay, my friends, let's finish with our panayama. We are just going to do some breathing. We can do some breathing without a mask, actually, but I know you don't have a mask yet, so let's pretend that you have a really small mouth. You're breathing through a really small space. Shoulders up and down your back pockets, breathing through your nose. Guys, tomorrow is science day and we have such an exciting science experiment. I can't wait to show it to you. Please go make your masks, enjoy them, wear them. I can't wait to see them. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.